Today we're going to finally understand and clear up what boost mode does on the Fujifilm X-T2, X-T3, and X-T4 cameras. And today's Friday, so we're going to do it fast. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. Let's talk about the boost modes on the Fujifilm X-T2, X-T3, and X-T4 cameras. When I say boost mode, I don't mean that new feature on the X-T4 that helps digitally stabilize video. I'm talking about a power performance boost option setting that a number of Fujifilm cameras have. Now, both the X-T2 and X-T3 offer you a choice of either normal performance or boost performance. Now, I never keep my camera in normal mode. I always keep it in boost mode and I recommend that you do the same. I'll wait, go ahead and check your camera and make sure that it's in boost mode. Yeah, it, it's that menu setting right there. Uh-huh. No, 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 not that one, that one, yeah. Okay, good. So the reason I keep it always in boost mode is because if I don't, that is, if I keep the camera in normal mode, then the following things happen that make me mad, bad, and sad. First off, and most problematic, is that your autofocus performance will decrease. In addition, you will get increased shutter time lag and the live view blackout times between burst shots. You don't want that. Secondly, your viewfinder frame rate will decrease from 100 frames per second to 60 frames per second. Now, it's really difficult for me to show you this on a little, you know, YouTube window, but it's something that I definitely noticed in the viewfinder. One of the great benefits of shooting with a Fujifilm mirrorless camera is the quality of the LCD screen, so you want it looking as good as possible. Third, and I get these, help, my camera's broken, email questions all the time about this, so please listen up, people. After about 12 seconds, your camera's LCD screen will dim and your camera will go into what I call jerky mode, okay? Jerky mode. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, I have an X-T3 right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in normal mode, okay? And I'm just gonna hold the camera like this and do nothing else. Just kind of, I'm moving it around, la-di-da-di-da. -da -da. And it's about 12 seconds, so we need to wait a few more seconds here. Oh, look at it already. Look at that. Can you see that? Can you see how much dimmer that is? You get rid of this problem by simply touching or turning a dial. You touch a button or turn a dial like this. There, see that? On the X-T2, in order to take advantage of boost mode, you must have the battery grip. So if the battery grip is on the camera, then you can put it in boost mode and you're good to go. On the X-T3, it doesn't matter. You don't need the battery grip and you get all the benefits of boost mode without the battery grip. Now, when the X-T4 was released, they made a number of changes to boost mode. Now, there are three choices instead of two. There's boost and normal, just like on the X-T2 and X-T3, but now there is also this new economy mode, which further limits auto focus and viewfinder performance. And the performance hit you get on the speed of your autofocus in economy mode is definitely noticeable. Okay, check this out. This is an X-T4 into economy mode. Okay, so it's in economy mode right now. All right, I am going to put it in continuous autofocus. I'm in economy mode in continuous autofocus. Boom, right to the green. There it goes. Go back to the box. Single point autofocus, come on, there it is. Back to the green, yep, there it is. Back to the box, there it is. It's kind of slow, let's put it in the highest mode. Now, let's try it. Wow, focus back on the, look how fast that is. Back on the green, back on the box. Back on the green, back on the box, whoops. Oh, I took the picture by accident. It's just not as fast an autofocus when you have it on economy mode versus boost mode. In addition, the X-T4 also offers three additional configuration settings. These are low light priority, resolution priority, and frame rate priority. Low light priority enhances the subject when you're out shooting in low light. Again, this is through the LCD screen or viewfinder. Resolution priority allows you to see easily more fine details on the screen. And frame rate priority offers better and smoother transitions. So here in this first example is economy mode. And as you can see, all right, there it is, economy mode. And I'm not actually shooting, this is just 
just recording the screen from the camera. Okay, now here it is in the higher resolution priority boost mode. Do you see that? Do you see the difference there? It's not a huge difference, it's subtle, but it's definitely there. Okay, so I have three tips for you with regard to boost mode on these Fujifilm cameras. Number one, if you're shooting single shots at a time in manual focus, then there's nothing wrong with using normal or even economy mode for the camera. Again, if you're manually focusing and you're not whipping the camera around and needing those higher frame rates, then why not save that battery life? Number two, assign a shortcut button. Real easy to do, you just press and hold down DISP back until you get this screen and then you can just go ahead and assign a shortcut. But other than that, I recommend you keep your camera in the highest performance mode that you can. For the X-T2, that's boost mode, but you have to have the battery grip. The X-T3, the boost mode is the same, with or without the battery grip. And on the X-T4, boost mode with either LCD resolution or frame rate priority. For myself, I've been using resolution priority most of the time and it works great. Well, that wraps it up for today's Fast Friday. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, please be sure to give it the like and subscribe. And I will see you all next week. I'm gonna have more product reviews coming. In, in fact, I'm actually behind on those Capture One tutorials. I have not forgotten about those. And a deeper dive into the X-T4 camera settings and features and more videos coming on how to shoot good video with the Fujifilm cameras. Until then, have a great weekend. I'll see you next week. Take care. Okay, now when the X-T4 was released, they made a number of changes to burst mode. The now when the X-T4 was released, they made a number of changes to burst mode. Boost, f***ing boost, not burst. They made a number of changes to burst mode. Now with boost mode. It's boost mode, not burst mode, boost mode. I have screwed this up so many times. Let's do it again.